can tell where we are. Does that look familiar? Let me give it a little zoom in. So in continuing our adventure down the Isle of Skye, we just stopped in Broadford um, to pick up some water and snacks for our drive. And I picked up some cereal and I want to share it with you. So it's called Frosted Shreddies and it's made by Nestle, which I don't think Nestle makes any cereal in America. Um, but, maybe not dry cereal, but I feel like they might have, I think they might have an oatmeal of some sort maybe. Ooh. They are, they taste kind of like frosted flakes or frosted mini wheats, but with like the texture of like a Chex. And I'm going to eat these dry in the car because I love eating dry cereal as a snack. You frosted shreddies. There you go. Ryan, verdict on the frosted shreddies. They're pretty good. I enjoy it. It's, they're sweet, but not too sweet. They're good cereal for, uh, Good breakfast cereal, I'd say. We haven't been waiting. There's some serious uh, construction going on up on the aisle. We've had we've been held up a couple times. Hey, this guy. Ooh, I think I got it. Onward to Fort William, probably with some some stops along the way. So we are up and over the Sky Bridge, leaving the Isle of Skye. And I'm legitimately very sad to be leaving it. We had a good few days. We got married. We enjoyed some good food and good drinks with some of our favorite people in the world. And now it's on to Scotland. Hello again, Scotland. Well, we're staying in Scotland out of the sky. So part of Scotland. But we're off to Edinburgh in the next day or two. So goodbye, Scottish Highlands. Yes. Yeah. Although we will get to enjoy them for the next couple hours while we while we drive south. south. So that was the Sky Bridge and that has been Isle of Sky. Hopefully we'll be back someday. Hopefully. Our goal is in 20 years to come back and go back to where we got married and hopefully bring our kids with us so they can see. That's what Lauren and I were discussing on Tuesdays. That's right? the vision, yeah. yes. So see you in 2036? Yeah. 2036. We'll see how much the aisle has changed and hopefully take our kids back on the Misty Isle boat tours again because they were wonderful. Yep. And come see the aisle again. I just want to take a minute to let you all know that we're actually in Jurassic Park. Like we came off that sky bridge and around a corner and it's like that car had been riding that truck like unnecessarily. That truck was going to find speed. Yeah that truck wasn't too slow. Anyways, just look at all these mountains. Like over here. Oh, okay. Like look at this little little village on this hill. What's sad is this, I mean, Oop. as good as video or photographic technology can be, it's not gonna replace the stunning views that no. it's you're you you're you're seeing in person. So we have to make sure we're taking mental mental photographs as well. Yes. But I can highly recommend to anybody watching these videos that you must come to Scotland and experience it for yourself. Yes. Everybody visits Sky in Scotland. So we're just, we pulled over again and I just wanted to try and get another, just like, see if I can capture any of the beauty that is the Highlands of Scotland. This is like, you know, we just kind of pulled out a little pull out over here. Nice little stream. The bridge over there. I love, I don't know if you can see them too well in the videos, but I love when there's like breaks in the grass where you can see the rocks underneath. It's pretty cool. Also, I feel like every mountain could be a volcano and just like ready to erupt at any point. I know they're not, 
but that's just what they look like to me. Can you tell where we are? Does that look familiar? Let me give it a little zoom in. It's where the Hogwarts Express rides through the sit the country. So we are in <laughs> Glenfinnan, Scotland. We're still up. We're a couple 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 hours north of Glasgow, and we are at a filming location for Harry Potter. So this is the this is where the Hogwarts Express travels across. Um, it's in the scene where in Chamber of Secrets, where they're taking the flying car, and. Harry falls out and he's trying to, Ron's trying to save him. He's like, I can't, your hands all sweaty. <laughs> so yeah, so that's where we are. It's fracking beautiful up here. We hiked a little bit up to get a better viewpoint of it. And I think that sh the hike was clearly worth it. The video just doesn't do it justice for how pretty this is on, on an epic scale. I mean, it's just green mountains all around us. Let's go over this way. So the other thing here in Glenfinnan is the Glenfinnan Monument. It's set here in this glen as a monument to the clansmen that died. Uh, his last name was Stuart, and he was trying to get back in the. Yeah, I'm a Stuart. He was trying to get back in the throne, and this is to honor all the people that fought for him, even though he didn't win. <laughs> yeah, still, still a nice monument. There's tickets to get a closer view of it, but we're out of time, so we just thought we'd come see where the beautiful monument is located in the nice setting. It's a beautiful view. So we are in Fort Williams, or Fort William. William. Mm -hmm. Fort William, and we are looking for some dinner. We're hungry. So it's a, we're on High Street. We just keep finding like in all these towns they have signs that point to like the town center and we tend to just follow those and then we find a street like this. Yeah, and then we, whatever store walks past and gets all fancy, we go in. <laughs> so that's what we're doing right now. We're walking down High Street looking for something good. Alright, so we landed on the Grog and Girl. Lauren did come across this one online and we found it, so they have Tex-Mex. I'm probably going to try something questionable. Why not? Heck yeah, we're on vacation. We have ordered dinner at Cool and Bras, and I couldn't resist ordering off of the Tex-Mex portion of the menu. So I have a chicken burrito here and a little salad, and I'm really excited to eat it. I'm not really sure what to expect. And then Ryan has what looks really good. A nice pineapple and ham pizza. And if I know anything about their ham, it's going to be bacon-esque, so that should be pretty good. So yeah, so let's eat some grueling grog, eh? I'm so hungry. We have finished our dinner, and the thought was there in my tips next, but the beans that were advertised for the burrito were garbanzo beans and pinto. Like, uh, gosh, what are they? Like kidney beans. Like beans that my mom uses to make chili. Not like black beans or pinto beans that you would find in like a traditional Mexican burrito or what I would consider Mexican food back in America. So, but I was really hungry, so I still ate my little burrito. Ryan's pizza was also like, okay. Yeah, it's, it's blander. Um, and it's thin crust. You know, universally, like, all of Scotland just needs to, like, use some seasoning. I think that's England, too. Yeah. But, uh, oh, oh, overall, it was okay. Nothing right home. Though. My cider was great. I want another one, but I gotta get back. I gotta do some editing tonight. Gotta work on the road.